Hello, in this video I will show you how to get started with React Press. Um, for this demo I assume two things that you have Node installed to uh, create React apps and that you use uh, local for your WordPress development environment. I will uh, add a link to local in the description. So to get started we start first with creating a new development website. I will call this React Demo. Important is you need for React Press you need uh, PHP 7.4 or newer and we will install this or create this site here. So first we will go to the admin of your new WordPress site. And from there we will install the React Press plugin. So uh, maybe one thing before we get started with the React Press plugin itself, um, I switched to the 2020 theme because it looks better than this uh, 2022 theme that is uh, targeted at full site full uh, site editing. So I will use this theme. Activate and publish. Oh, and I didn't activate React Press. So now this is the uh, React Press admin page, and you see this link here. Um, you need this link to create your uh, React app. I copy that and go to the command line um, and change into this directory. This is here the React Press apps directory. There will create a new React app. I will call it demo. Now, after the React app is created, and go back to the admin and update this page. And now you will see the new demo app. It's called demo. You see the directory where it is located, and you have this here, the URL slug um, that you need to set for your app. I will call this to React demo. This creates a new page, which is called React Demo, of course, and that we can visit now. And this is just an empty page at the moment. We go and look into the source code. We should see this little ta div tag here, which will be our basis for our uh, where our React app will get embedded. Um, so the next step is to build this app and then we will do some changes to it. 
for that uh, we change into the react app directory and just uh, build it and you see here uh, react press changed the url for the build script so now i go back to this page and uh, update it and you see your react app now in there but of course we want to change things now um, so we will start the dev server of the reactor and the next thing you see now is that the dev server shows you a similar page this is because React Press copies the, the content page from your local um, WordPress installation and gives you the illusion or the dev environment that looks similar to the uh, page, to the WordPress page you're creating. So, but as we said, as I said, we want to change something. I will just change uh, the image in in the app. This is normal React development. And if we switch to the development server here on the local host, you see the the React Press logo. But now we want it uh, to have it in our site, right? In our website and therefore I go back here build it and this is here this is the react demo file uh, the react demo page and I updated and now we have our changes in uh, quotation marks deployed to our WordPress site. Yeah, that's it. That's the whole process of getting started with React Press.